بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو آر چینل آئی ایم روفیہ سین اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کریٹ اے نیو فارم فار ڈسپلینگ یوزرس ان دا ڈیٹا گریڈ ویو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو پرفارم انسرٹ آپریشن اینڈ سیو آر یوزر سکسیزفلی ٹو آر یوزر رول ٹو آر ڈیٹا بیس سو ان دس ویڈیو ویل کریٹ این ادر فارم گو ٹو سلوشن ایکسپلور رائٹ کلک آن فارمس فولڈر ایڈ window form and name this form as view rows form okay so i'll go to code and i'll inherit this form from our template form so that all design is automatically applied build this application click on this so this is our view rows form. so i'll go to tools and i'll select some panel i don't really need this panel because i don't want to waste your time you can design your form in your strip and i'll set as close and over here i'll specify separator and after this i'll create new row okay so after this i'll change the text of my form right click properties and i'll hide this solution explorer and i'll set view roles okay so double click on this close button over here and write this dot close so next i'll create and data grid view drag it over here uncheck all of these options and set it as and also add some we don't need any label over here because we'll do that in the next video okay so i want to load a role record from database into this data grid view so rename this data grid view as roles data grid view and i'll go to program.cs and set set up this form as start of form view roles form start look at this this is our roles form so now i'll roll uh, reload uh, data from this roles table into this data grid view. so right click on this view code in the default constructor i'll create another option load data into data grid view control period or dot to generate this event and over here i'll specify using sql connection cun control dot and import using system dot data dot sql client is equals to new sql connection and over here i'll specify connection string app connection dot connection string and then i'll specify using sql command cmd is equal to new sql command and over here i'll specify my store procedure name and then we'll do further but before uh, proceeding with this code we'll have to create a store procedure so i'll right click on store procedure new store procedure control a remove and then create procedure usp roles and then load data into data grid view and we don't need any parameter for this as begin and end okay so i'll select select role id then role title and then description and then created by and then created 
date from roles and then I'll select it and execute it to make sure what we are getting from this row procedure okay so you can see we are getting date and time uh, but I don't think so if you want to convert this data time you can use SQL convert function convert and watch or 50 and you can specify format over here 105 so that as created date so that you can all, uh, only get date from this column select and look at this we are getting only date from this column okay click on execute button over here done now copy this to precision name and paste it over here after this I'll specify cmd dot command type equals to command type dot store procedure and then I'll check for connection if con dot state not equals to connection state dot open then I'll open the connection and then I'll create a data table data table dt roles equals to new data table after this I'll you use SQL data reader str is equal to cmd dot execute reader because we are getting data from database and then I'll write str dot load dt dot load dt roles dot load what str we are getting data from database and loading into SQL data reader and after that we are loading our table from this SQL data reader so now at this stage our data is stored in the this data table after this I'll call my roles data grid view dot data source equals to dt roles so understand the step uh, I am specifying my store procedure that we have created right now and then connection store procedure connection open and then I have created data table to map data which we are getting from SQL command and storing into data reader and after that I load this data reader into my data table and after this I have assigned this data to DT roles okay so if you start your application again you can see our uh, record is successfully loaded into data grid view but we are now this data grid view is not completely filled and only cell is selected I want to change this behavior to select complete row and also to fill this data grid view completely so right click on data grid view properties and set selection mode to full row select and set auto size column move to fill start again look at this our information is successfully displaying and obviously this is a auto increment field role id and end user doesn't know about this one we should hide this uh, column but i am not hiding because i will be performing some operations in the upcoming video if you want to hide this column you can directly write code inside this function rows data grid view dot columns zero first column dot visible equals to false start again look at this our role id is hidden but i will comment this line over here because i will be using uh, this form for upcoming videos to perform search operation and to perform uh, edit operation so I require this whole ID for my viewers I'll hide this ID at the end of performing CRUD operations on this roles module so this is how you can uh, fetch data from SQL server and display in the in this data grid view in the next video we will perform search operation on this form thank you so much for watching we'll meet again in the next video take care of yourself Allah Hafiz Aslam